Welcome to Adventure Art! Daggerfall Unity Alpha has now been released. The game has endless potential and could in my opinion become one of the greatest RPGs ever. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more Daggerfall Unity related content and uh, stay until the end because I have a very interesting little surprise for you guys. Now, these are my picks for the best mods so far. Enhanced Sky. I really, really like this one. It's one of my favorite mods out there, actually. Uh, I love it even more when thinking about how the old sky used to look like. Just a rough, pixelated picture. <laughs> this mod does so much for the game. Like, so many times I've just marveled at how beautiful something is because of the sky. When you're looking over a city or just the landscape. The mod adds smooth day and night transitions with beautiful sunrises and sunsets. It adds both moons with lunar cycles and it has beautiful starry night skies. The cloud cover and lighting matches whatever current weather there is. I can't recommend this mod enough guys, just go and download it, it's marvelous. Here you also see the next mod in this episode, Hills and Mountains. This mod simply makes the kind of flat, vanilla world more hilly and mountainous. Everything looks more interesting and rugged, like a dangerous fantasy world should. So um, I really enjoy this one. Go and try it out. Daggerfall Unity Quest Pack 1 by JH. This mod adds a lot of quests to the game. A problem with classic Daggerfall was that you ran into the same quests over and over, and this mod goes a long way towards fixing that. Every faction gets a bunch of new quests, including commoners, nobles, vampire clans, and even witches' covens. The quests themselves are really good, they're well written and lore friendly, and some of them are really interesting. So uh, it's a great mod I highly recommend. Also, if you didn't think the Dark Brotherhood was uh, dark enough, they're now kidnapping children for ransom and doing this kind of weird shit. <laughs> anyway, like I said, go download Daggerfall Unity Quest Pack 1, it's a great mod. Real Grass. Real Grass is a nice little mod that makes the world look more alive by adding grass, stones, water plants and flowers. Once you get used to this one, the wilderness will look very empty and barren without it. The Archaeologist's mod. Now, this is interesting. This mod adds a guild to the game called the Archaeologist's Guild. The mod's intention is to make a high intelligence, non-magic using character a more viable option. Partly by making use of Daggerfall's previously neglected but very interesting language skills, like Orcish, Daedric, Giantish, Centurion, Spriggan, and more. The mod also balances the game a bit and makes those language skills increase faster and makes high level language skills much better at pacifying enemies. This fantastic concept has inspired me so much. I'm actually thinking about doing a whole new Let's Play series with like a scholar adventure type character with uh, very little fighting skills, no magic, maybe even no armor, using potions, stealth, outsmarting and sweet-talking enemies all the way to glory. <laughs> the archaeologists mostly value intelligence and language skills, apart from a few other adventuring skills, namely climbing, lockpicking and stealth. But uh, you won't be able to take your goddamn stupid thief and excel in this guild on like uh, lockpicking and stealth alone thanks to a brilliant mechanic. Besides the normal skill and reputation requirements, this guild also has a minimum intelligence requirement. They offer training, a potion seller, library access, potion maker, free identification, Deirdre summoning and a completely new game mechanic the locator device. This thing will aid the player in finding quest targets in dungeons while attempting to keep it balanced and not too easy. It's also very expensive to use. This mod is not finished yet but uh, completely playable according to the forums. I mean, I love this. This is a completely brilliant idea by the author Hazelnut 
And in my opinion, uh, Tamriel needs the Archaeologist Guild, so uh, go try it out. Next up is Birds of Daggerfall by Uncanny Valley. This mod simply adds birds to the skies and I was really really surprised at how much th this little detail did for the feel of the game. It's like the world comes alive. Uh, also along with the, the must-have mod Enhanced Skies. This is a beautiful combination and I think there's no reason not to install this little great mod, so just go and do that. Next up is Warm Ashes, Dangerous Dungeons Exteriors. Uh, this mod adds a bunch of random encounters to outsides of uh, dungeons, castles, keeps, ruins, graveyards, etc. Sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's a bunch of roaming bandits or ghosts or giants and brigands and bears and <laughs> whatever else he could come up with. Uh, anyway, I really enjoyed this one. It's given my Let's Play a bunch of interesting and dramatic situations that otherwise wouldn't have been. It also makes the game more challenging, especially early game, I think. Uh, when you're not ready and you get attacked by a bunch of creatures at once. Uh, this mod also adds a siege system where you get to assault uh, keeps and castles against waves of enemies. That's getting progressively harder and harder. Uh, it also adds wilderness encounters, uh, which I think is used best along with the mod Tedious Travel, so you actually spend some time out in the wilderness and traveling around. Anyway, I really recommend Warm Ashes, it's a great mod. We've finally arrived at KOW Dream. If you only install one mod, it should be this one. Dream stands for Daggerfall Remaster Enchanted Art Mod and is a huge project by a lot of people. I've decided to present this along with the mod Hand Painted Models since they go so well together and if you want to improve the graphics of the game you really should install both of these. Dream includes updated music, sounds, cinematics, textures, sprites, enemies, NPCs, commoners, portraits, HUDs and menus. So, uh, <laughs> if you're thinking that's basically everything, well, you'd be correct. I mean, this mod adds over 7000 various sprites, menu tabs and portraits, over 1400 textures and over 2000 additional textures for materials. Apart from the graphics, the sounds and music are so much better which really does a lot for the feel of the game. Hand Painted Models is a project by Alexander Sig that intends to replace all models of Daggerfall with efficient, high quality hand painted ones. So far, he's released over 350 models and is looking great. It's everything from fountains to stones, ladders, hedges, and a lot of furniture. My personal favorites are the light sources like torches and fireplaces. Just look at this difference. Remember also that this is a comparison with the already updated look of Daggerfall Unity and not actual classic Daggerfall where the difference is much larger. They're both also super easy to install, but I would recommend you check out the recommended graphics settings on the Dream download page for the best experience possible. Unless you're specifically into the vanilla look, you really need to get these two mods. Everything is so much better and more atmospheric. Taverns seems more inviting, dungeons are darker and creepier, everything is better. So, go download KOW Dream and Hand Painted Models. While we're on the topic of graphics, I just quickly want to mention the mod Post Processing Effects. You can either set it up as you please, or just download, install and use the default settings. Either way, your game is gonna look a little bit, or even a lot better. If you like this, please check out my first Let's Play series where I'm playing through the game as a dark knight, kind of a really rough warrior assassin character, completely unable to use magic. People seem to really like it and the response so far has been absolutely great. And coming soon, I have this. Welcome to Adventure Art, guys. I'm so excited for this one. Uh, it's an idea I've been having for a long time. We're gonna make a 
high intelligence scholarly type character with uh, hardly any fighting or magic skills. Well, it's like, what the hell? No magic or <laughs> no fighting in Daggerfall? Well, um, yeah, we're just gonna send him out there with no protection, like a bad parent, and uh, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> He's so goddamn useless. He's so weak. And of course a normal guy would just run in terror from a place like this. And that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> 